So, today we will be ranking every single Bloxburg update from version 0.11.4 all the way to version 0.12.3. Now, all these updates have been really good updates, so let's go over the tier list for this year. So first things first is we have the best, like that's the top tier update, whatever update was the best update that I think was the best update um, that was released this year. And then we go to loved it, which is an update I love, but it wasn't the best to be considered top tier. And we have good update, which is, I still like the update, I didn't love it and it wasn't top tier. And then we had an okay update, which is just an update that I thought was okay, that I didn't really like as much as all the others. But a little bit of a disclaimer, I love every single update and the devs, they made each of these updates, they put so much love and care and I enjoy them so much, so don't take any of this the wrong way. Each update is amazing. So let's start off with version 0.11.4. So this was the first update, it was February of 2023. Or like in 2024 i didn't even know what year it was but in february 2023 we had version 0.11.4 which was dubbed the valentine stuff update now each update i dub every single one of them so i got names for each and every one of them we had valentine's theme furniture items food we had stuff outside of bff supermarket this is when we got the reclining armchairs and sofas the new sectional sofas, coffee table books, book ends, and other decorative items. Sectional sofas will now snap together in build mode and remove snow and winter themed objects and decoration. I mean, this wasn't the best update in 2023, so it was a good update or like, you know, loved it. I'm going to put it down to the good update. I'm going to change all of these th periodically throughout the video but it was a good update i really 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 loved the fact that they had a new sectional sofas and i enjoyed the fact that we had so much in this update but it wasn't just it's not that we didn't get a lot in the update it's just that it's just a valentine's update i don't really care for the holiday updates that much except for like halloween and christmas those ones are like i love those like I love those holidays, so of course I'm going to have a bias towards those updates. So up next we have version 0.11.5, and this update is where we had a lot of new furniture sets. Now, starting off a little bit, we had a lot of build mode updates and not a lot of roleplay updates. So we're going to see a little bit of a shift coming to the end of the year updates. So in version 0.11.5, we had fancy industrial pipe furniture sets various beauty products so 0.11.5 was the beauty update there was misc furniture and decorative items so just added just other clutter items to the game um we had bed canopies and comforters newspaper and magazine interaction um new animation improvements which we love animation improvements and the valentine stuff was removed now let's well, let's talk about this so it was an okay update, like it's, it, I love these updates, but it's like an okay update. Now, I don't really care for beauty products, the furniture and decorative items, so those are cool. The industrial pipe and furniture sets, those are nice too. Um, animation improvements, those are nice, but one of the things is I don't really understand what this update was really calling to. I love it, 10 out of 10 update, it was nice, but um... For me, I just have a bias for it because it was a lot of beauty products and I don't use any beauty products. So so next on the list, we have 0.11.6. This was one of the updates that was amazing. If you think about it, we had the color wheel, new like 11 new materials. We had solar panels, ability to cut grass, um, bird, butterfly, bee effects, food, new foods, jars of jam, fruits and vegetables added new plants and outdoor items and more general animation improvements like this was the outdoor update so for the outdoor update loved it i loved the update because that's when i made the garden in my house the previous video i went over and basically 
showed you a lot about my house and that's where a lot of these stuff are coming in with the updates and version 0.11.6 was when I changed the entire garden and I made it so beautiful. So thank you for 0.11.6. Version 0.11.7 is next and this was the athletic update. So this is when they started talking to us through each of the update logs like the sports update, the athletic update. They This is when they revamped the Bloxburg gym. So they gave us overhauled athletic skill, um, ability to sprint, the Bloxburg gym was renovated new fitness yoga and meditation items usable basketball basketballs and hoops and a new food items exercise animations and general animation improvements and added three new materials now this update they improved a lot in this update so i love this update it's not the best update but i loved the update it was amazing one of the top tier but not the toppest tier you know, can't always please everyone, but this update was the best. I want more updates where they overhaul a lot of stuff that is in the game because we have a lot of outdated stuff, and I think it's time to overhaul. So next up is version 0.11.8. This was released in June of 2023, and this was the summer update. Now, I don't really like summer. That's because it feels like that we're burning because the temperatures are like above 100 degrees all the time. Not where I am, but that's where most people are. But like, it just feels like we're burning. Like, I hate it so much. But this update was really good. Like, if you think about everything that was added in this, it was really, 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 really good. So in version 0.11.8, we had the summer festival. They revamped the observatory. They overhauled the existing beach. They added summer and beach themed items and foods. They added the ability to build pools on multiple floors. They added the steel thunder sidekick motorcycle, little wheels, mega motorcycle, and RV beach buggy vehicles. Added new dance emotes and general animation improvements and updated textures for grass and trees on the map. This is when Bloxburg Burger, Bloxburger, Bloxburger. This is when Bloxy Burger, renamed to Blox Burger, um, blew up. So, best update. 10 out of 1,000 out of 10, 10 out of 10, best update. I loved it because it was, um, <laughs> this was one of the best things to happen because, oh, I love it when they interact like this and they give us stuff like that. It was amazing. Next up was 0.11.9, and this is when we got the Bloxburger revamp, the new Bloxburger, and this was one of the last updates that I have played before my friend left to go back to school for, um, because school's a thing, I guess. Anyways, version 0.11.9 released in August of 2023 was the Bloxburger revamp, and I called it the fast food update. So, in this update, we had new Bloxburger restaurant, including a usable drive through lane. Um, there was a new job as fast food worker at Bloxburger, um, including line cook and cashier. Added restaurant and commercial themed furniture items. Overhauled new foods, including mozzarella sticks, onion rings, and soda fountain cups. Overhauled the job progression and payment systems, now based on overall work experience across any jobs and efficiency of completing your current job's task. Added reward track based on leveling progression and job locations and general animation improvements. Obviously, in every single update, they have major bug fixes. But one of the things about this is that Bloxburger have the biggest revamp. And when I say that they overhaul the job payment system, it's like words now a little bit better but still pizza planet is the top tier job in Bloxburg. people still use it but i would have to categorize this update as one of the best updates of 2023 so now we have two the best updates of 2023 like this was amazing i loved it thank you i want more updates like overhauling certain items because i love overhaul updates those are just amazing so now we move into october 2023 with version 0.12.0 so this was the Halloween update. Now I didn't dub this update with anything because it was just a Halloween update. So Bloxburg Halloween update. Um, but this update, I didn't really like it that much. Only because Sabrina's quest, but I love when they add new Halloween items. 
So they re-added the Plenty of Pumpkins on Orchard Farm featuring new mysterious location and adventure. This was the Haunted Mansion and everything. Um, they added re they re-added fall and Halloween decorations and locations to the town. They added new fall and Halloween themed decorations, foods, and animatronics. They added backpack feature, which I don't know how I feel about the backpack feature. I use it sometimes, but not all the time. I just wish you could toggle that on and off when you want to use it, when you don't want to use it. That's just my preference. Um, allowing you to quick access to many equipable and interactive objects. So they added new interactive objects and props, added Victorian style furniture items, they added new trap doors and hatches, overhauled multiple TV channels, added new TVs and soundbar speakers, added subcategories to decorations category and build mode catalog, added new animations and subcategories. So this update was a lot of adding new categories, adding all of this, and you know, I would categorize that as a good update. Not one of the best. I still loved it, but it's a good update. It's not like I loved, loved it. Um, the Sabrina's quest was okay. I didn't really like that you knew everything to grab and then you had to wait another day for just one item to mix like a potion so you can get into like... I just think that we wanted to get into the haunted house and I think it would have been a lot more better if we interacted more with the haunted house than what it was. But the end of the event was so amazing having to go through the maze and then talking with the ghost. It was just... It was it was amazing and you know it's a just categorized as a good update. Not much of what I would say as a best update or loved it and you know good update we'll leave it at that okay next up we had the toddler stuff update if you remember i did a video on the toddler stuff update and i just went through everything that was in the toddler stuff update so in november 2023 version the 0.12.1 dropped and it was the first update in november because we had two updates in november so this update added kids themed furniture toys and decorations new kids vehicles new foods overhauled and added new toddler and kid animations added new family tree feature and customizable permission settings i feel like this update was an okay update based on what it was for that time um I love the new permission settings, don't get me wrong, those permission settings were one of the best things to be added because then, you know, it stops stops people from stealing from your fridge. So rest in peace me going to cafes and just stealing all the food from the fridge. Me and my friend would do that all the time. But you know, it's just an okay update. You know, I don't really use all those furniture items. I did in one room, which is the space theme stuff, but you know, it's just an okay update. Nothing more to it. Still love it. It's, it's a good update. So the next update is version 0.12.2. And this was the festive update. Everyone's favorite update. Categorized as the best update every single year because it is Christmas. Christmas is amazing. So. In the festive update, they re-added snow and winter themed objects and decorations, re-added setting, ice skating, Santa photo op, and Tom's tree lot, re-added ability to make snowmen throw snowballs, and now make snow angels, added an upgraded ice rink to the town, added a new ice skating hot bar featuring new ice skating animations, added additional seasonally themed items, decorations of foods, added a new terror type... Terra Trek light pickup truck and Opulent Astro attempts to have luxury mid-sized SUV vehicles, adding new toys and games featuring a new multiplayer interaction function, adding new currency pack subscriptions, earn additional money and block specs, bonuses for remaining subscribed, added five new materials, and added four new basic shapes and variants. So this update, I think you already know where the update is going to go. We're going to take the update and we're going to move it all the way up to the best update. It was one of the best updates in 2023 because it was the Christmas update. Now, if you don't really like the Christmas update, I don't know what is wrong with you. And maybe hitting the subscribe button, liking the video, and turning on post notifications will change your mind and make the Christmas update the best update in your Bloxburg tier rankings. Also, only 93% of you watching this video are not subscribed, so hitting that button and subscribing will make your day better. Also, I have a Discord server. Link is in the description. I chat in there every single day, so you want to join it. So, blocks for Christmas, amazing. We love it. Don't tell me that the update was horrible and bad because, you know, it was really, really good. So, with this update, everyone, there was a lot of Twitter drama going on. We won't get into that, but let's just say that a lot of people were very ungrateful and they wanted more 
but we got everything that we asked for in this update. So thank you to the Bloxburg devs for an amazing Christmas update this 2023. So now we are on the final update of 2023, which is the Happy New Year update. So this added fireworks, um, the fireworks display at City Hall, New Year's party themed items and food, um, overhaul party invites featured a customized invitation backgrounds, event themes, and more, added an age up feature, overhaul name tags feature to include new rules and icons, added four new materials, updated terrain to smooth voxel service, and removed holiday themed objects and decorations. So this update, the best update, because the invitation feature, me and my friend were just looking at this before this video was being recorded. Um, so me and my friend were just looking at this and we were like, this feature is the best because you can choose between inviting everyone, just your friends, or just people who are in your family on Bloxburg. So this is why the update is the best update of 2023. Like, all those updates up there is the best updates of 2023 were the beach update, the Blocks Burger update, the Christmas update, and the New Year's update because they added so much and these were very, very planned and thought out updates. And, you know, it's just the the joy of seeing all these released and out in Bloxburg that you didn't even think was going to be in Bloxburg, like all those revamps that we had. It's just really amazing, and that's why those are the best updates of 2023. So here is the official ranking of Bloxburg 2023 updates, and I want to do this again next year with the 2024 updates, so we better get starting to rank all these updates when they start dropping because this is going to be, I think we're going to, this year we're going to have like a lot.